Market basket back up and running at full steam from the stores to the warehouse. There is a flurry of activity, and the eye openers Todd Kaskevich is live in Burlington with the efforts and the new information on how this really ended, Todd. Good morning, Emily. Well, they are working at a very busy pace to get things back to normal. This morning, you can see some of the bread vendors here delivering. Many of the vendors had been delivering throughout the protest, but it really didn't matter because virtually nobody was shopping. That has all changed now. There's people in here shopping. There's a buzz in the store. Everybody's happy to be here. The customers, you did it, we did it. We all did it together. After six weeks of protesting, Market Basket employees are back, and so are the customers. But rebuilding the business is a work in progress. At the Burlington store, fresh meat and fish are in stock, but produce was still out of stock Thursday night. Produce is a little bit delayed. It should be here by uh, Sunday afternoon or Monday. The very determination that workers displayed to get Arthur T. back as CEO is now being utilized to get the stores back. Part timers who lost their hours weeks ago are back on the job, and so are the eight supervisors who were fired by the co CEOs who had replaced RDT. And the loyal customers whose boycott reinforced the movement are proud to once again shop at Market Basket. It's so unusual that the workers. You know, stood their ground and wanted, you know, uh, their leader and their CEO to be someone who cares about them. The Herald is reporting this morning that two of the last sticking points in the negotiations were the board of directors wanting a security deposit and wanting RDT to quell the protests. He said no, and in case you missed it, he won. Reporting live in Burlington this morning, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center Five.